fire, one of the most destructive forces known to mankind. We all know how fire affects trees and houses, but how does it really impact the air we breathe? The air may seem to be clear, but in actuality it contains millions of tiny suspended particles called aerosols. Common aerosols include sea salt, dust, and volcanic ash. Forest fires, in particular, emit molecules of organic carbon into the atmosphere. The smoke you see from these fires is mainly consisted of carbon monoxide, a deadly gas composed of a carbon and oxygen atom. When a closed environment is created around a burning candle, smoke quickly builds up inside. This simulates the excess amount of smoke that exists in the atmosphere after a forest fire has occurred. NASA is using the Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectroradiometer, also known as MODIS, to document the occurrences and intensity of wildfires across the globe. Its images help scientists identify areas of high risk and prevent future natural disasters. Another instrument utilized by NASA is called MOPIT, the measurement of pollution in the troposphere. Its satellite sensor detects levels of carbon monoxide in the lower atmosphere and its interactions with the land and ocean biospheres. MOPIT is able to trace carbon monoxide back to the origins of wildfires. Over 850,000 wildfires occurred in the United States from 2000 to 2010. They caused over 72 million acres in damage. That's almost the size of Italy. Luckily, the MODIS Rapid Response System provided real-time images to the United States Forest Service, who monitor and track fires. NASA will continue to use its advanced technology, such as the MODIS and MOPED satellites, to prevent harm from toxic emissions of forest fires. I'm breathing in the chemicals. Yeah.